Hey YouTube, it's Justin the Junkie. How the fuck are you guys doing today? Always into some dust to the face of light beer. You bought an outfit, stay at your mammy house and keep a smart mouth. It's Project Pat Memphis 10 represents the South. So pass the joke. So today this video is is gonna be what tools I keep in the street beast. Uh, a lot of people have been asking to show that. I bought some new organizers off Amazon. I will show those to you guys. Uh, I got it. I would say that we're about 75% done with the Street Beast. This will be the, you know, the Street Beast tools up there. What I really would like to get, uh, it would take up too much space. And I'm afraid that somebody would break into my truck and steal all my shit. But anyway, uh, I'll show you kind of the stuff that I keep in the Street Beast how I keep it organized and all that stuff and kind of where I got, you know, well, fuck. Basically showing you how to steal all my shit. Fuck! I never really thought about that. But anyway, you're on camera every time you're here, so it don't matter. And at my house. So, you know, if you want to pull up in my driveway, I know who in the fuck you are. But anyway, uh, we'll go open the door and we'll take a look and show you what I got in this motherfucker. Uh, when you open the back seat you really don't see much except uh, my snap-on bot or bag over there that I got at Sam's Club. Uh, that thing is pretty shitty I'm not gonna lie. But uh, underneath the seat here um, I keep all my wrenches so uh, you can see that I got that. I also keep my uh, trailer hitch over there on the other side. I keep the trailer hitch over there, uh, you know, again, so all the shit can come in there. So if you look here, uh, I have the Carlisle wrench sets. Um, this is the 18 piece uh, SAE set, which you guys pretty much know what this looks like there. So I keep um, that set in there. You know, and this goes all the way up to inch and a quarter. So I have a pretty good size uh, run there uh, with this stuff. So that's the first thing. Uh, the next one is my 19 piece metric set. Again, long, hand long handled Carlisle stuff. And then in this one, oh shit. I keep all my metric uh, gear wrench stuff and then down here uh, I have a set of snap-on ratchets, uh, you know the flank drive plus uh, old school ratcheting wrenches. So I keep those uh, all in there and they ride underneath the seat and uh, I'll go around and show you what I keep on the other side there. But this stays under the passenger seat and it's just easier to get it out of these bags. It stays rolled up nice and neat. And when you're bouncing down the road, you don't hear none of these things like bouncing around. So that's pretty cool. Uh, on this side, what I keep over here is my Weira tool bag. This is Enzo's car seat. You gotta have that. So in this Weira tool bag, I keep my PB Swiss screwdrivers. Uh, these are absolutely the best fucking screwdrivers you can get. I have striking cap and uh, the non-striking cap. I love these fucking grips. Uh, I keep those. Um, I have a set. This is like Knipex stuff. Um, I have like a four-piece set that you could buy. I got me some simple Cobras, uh, you know, pliers, wrenches, just stuff like that. Some um, uh, engineering needle nose pliers with plastic grip. I thought I got plastic grip, you know, because I'm the fucking junkie. Yeah, I, I get it, guys. I get it. I, I fucking know. Uh, you know, I have a soft spot for pliers. Um, I keep my hammer. Um, I have a pair of dikes, you know, these uh, long uh, bolt cutter dikes or just regular dikes. I'm looking for, I'm going to get the Knipex long reach um, mini bolt cutters uh, and then I keep my ratchets now the reason I keep my ratchets is is in the snap-on box I'm gonna have to pull it out and set it here on the floor for you uh, because the thing is entirely too heavy because I got a fucking buku of shit shoved in that motherfucker 
But, you know, this Weera set, or this Weera to go thing is actually pretty nice. And that just rides right in there on the floor. Uh, as you can see here, I got this thing packed full of shit. So I keep the best 3 8 gun uh, portable that you could ever get. A snap-on 3 8 impact, I keep that in here. I also keep this motherfucker for doing the big jobs. Uh, I do want to get another one of these and a boot uh, just to have in the shop, but one's gonna ride around in my truck. So we got that. Now, the sockets, um, I took all the Carlisle stuff out of those big cases, and I bought these Torin rails. Uh, they're kind of like the, you know, the metric or the mechanics time savers there. Uh, they just twist and lock on. So I have all sockets in here. I have half inch, uh, you know, fucking every fucking size of socket. Uh, you cannot lift this fucking box. It is so fucking heavy. So heavy. So uh, this is all the half inch stuff. Um, I also got these torn rails in three eighths. Uh, this is to put my gear wrench sockets on. So I have a wide variety of 3-8 stuff. There's your fucking god damn it. You know, as you can see here, uh, this is more half inch. You know, fucking more, more. Uh, here is some more half inch. You know, I keep this Carlisle super shallows. I think I got to get another set of these or wait for Snap-on to make them uh, in the shallows. You can see here, you know, like, man, I got so much shit shoved in here. It's fucking kind of ridiculous. Uh, more 3 8 So I got plenty of 3 8 sizes, metric. And then I put my, uh, the Carlisle Master, whatever you call that, uh, Allen wrench key set. I put those uh, in there. I'm really looking for a better box, a better something that'll ride in the passenger seat. If anybody has any suggestions, I looked at those boxes or those bags that like Mike's Tool Shed reviewed, and they're just not set up for uh, kind of what I want to fucking do. And I'm really not a big fan of these fucking stupid. These torn rails are all right, but if the sockets don't have the lockers in, uh, that's what it's got. Over here on the side, I keep my Carlisle, uh, whatever, wire strippers. I have a pen and a pair of flush cutting dykes to cut like zip ties and all that shit. Um, I am gonna be, I bought another box and that's gonna be, I'm gonna try to move these out of here. And what I want this one to be is like a little of electrical stuff. So I'm gonna put, you know, all that type of shit in there. Uh, now the reason that I have all this stuff in here is, is because A, I can use it at my house. Um, that's why I gotta get uh, a Carlisle Master Set uh, Torx bits. I wanna get that to use this stuff at my house. And if the guys ever call me and they're broke down on the side of the road, I easily don't have to come and get uh, a whole bunch of tools I can leave from my house and it makes it a little fucking uh, easier, if you will. Yeah, these things take, uh, that's what I got. I got these touring rails. So I have all this stuff in here. Um, will I ever use it? Who fucking knows? But, you know, it's in here in case anything fucking happens. Uh, we have all this shit. Yeah, it came off this one. You know, and I've had to use this at my house before because, you know, Miss Junkie uh, ran over something on the road and we destroyed a $300 Michelin. You guys obviously, I can remember that. So we got a bunch of heavy shit in here. Uh, I wouldn't suggest trying to lift this box up. You will, or this bag. Uh, it's not made for uh, this stuff. But anyway, anyway, that's what I keep here in the Street Beast. Just some simple stuff to 
do some at-home repairs. You know, if you had to put a grill together or whatever the fuck Miss Junkie buys. But anyway, uh, you know, if you guys know of any better bags that are big like this, like I've been looking at the Milwaukee one that where it doesn't have the zipper top, but just stuff that I could get uh, some different stuff in all over here. Um, I keep some grip on vice grips. Uh, you never know when you might need those. So I got a whole bunch of just random vice grip sizes over here. Kind of forgot I had that in there. Let me check the other pocket. So, I mean, this bag is not that bad. Out here, I keep, uh, well, the swivels were out here somewhere. I keep an extra battery and two swivels and a uh, three-eighths to half adapter. And over here, um, I keep some other metric wrenchers. These are the Stolvilia ones that uh, Matt from German Tool gave me. So I keep these uh, in here too. Uh, just because, you know, if you all, all the bolts on this car are metric. So, uh, that's all the shit that I keep here in the Street Beast. Uh, as we get more stuff for this, I will show you guys an update later. Uh, you know, I'm sure that everybody would like to know, you know, the, I'll call this the Truck Toolbox Tour. Because that's basically what I got in here is just simple tools that you know a lot of people should have you know I probably need a set of jumper fucking cables or like one of those fucking battery jumper boxes but we'll get one of those later during the meetup this weekend uh, my buddy Doug Cook gave me this he used to own a snap on route uh, back in uh, the early 90s I do believe and this was at his house and he was moving and he wanted me to have this it's an old clock uh, it's the first clock we got in the shop so that's a positive. I can kind of see what time it is. But Doug is uh, one of my buddies. He was my crew chief for a long time. Me and him have a good personal relationship, and he wanted to give this to me. So I can tell you this is never leaving my possession. Uh, I will die with it. You know, me and Doug have kind of a unique relationship. But anyway, he gave this to me, and, you know, it's just a little charitable item that I have. So that's how the meetup was. The meetup went all right. Uh, no big deal. A couple people showed up. Everybody that showed up, thank you uh, that we got that. Maybe we'll make that a once a year thing. Uh, I think the more that my YouTube channel gets, you know, I'd like more and more people so I could spend, you know, five, ten minutes with everybody and move on. But, uh, you know, the meetup went cool. So I didn't shoot anything like that. Uh, you know, it just doesn't, uh, that doesn't excite me. But, uh, I don't want to put people out on the live stream and stuff like that if they don't want to be that. So, uh, you know, that's how it is. But this is a very special thing that a guy came that came to my meetup. Uh, yeah, there was, you know, Doug was here. We bullshitted for a while. But, Doug, thank you so much. Uh, well, Justin fucking loves this. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else knows me as the junkie. But you know me as Justin. So, Justin loves this. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that's the tools that I'm keeping in the Street Beast. Uh, that's what I've got so far. I'm sure there's some better systems out there. If anybody knows, uh, share those in the comments section. Well, like always, uh, visit my Patreon account. Uh, go over there, support this channel. Uh, you guys can win some cool shit uh, every month. Everybody has equal fair shot to get it. Uh, you know, check out the Snap-on Junkie on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, like always, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I gotta fucking go.